Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to connect up an Xbox One controller to a laptop that's running Windows 10. This will also work with desktops and tablets and it will also work with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 as well but you may have to install drivers on the others. On Windows 10 it's just a case of plugging it in and it works. So I'm going to show you a way of doing it via uh, USB cable and also via the Xbox wireless adapter for Windows and the thing with this is you then don't need a USB cable, it works wirelessly. So why would you want to do this? Maybe if you don't want to use a mouse and keys and you might want to use your controller instead, if you like the Xbox One controller then it's really simple to do. Now you might already have a USB to a micro USB cable. If you've got an Android phone then the chargers are normally, if the Android phone's from the last couple of years, then the Android chargers are normally USB to micro USB. The only problem is often they're short, they're only about a metre or a metre and a half. So if you want a longer lead, just buy yourself one off Amazon and eBay, they're quite cheap if you haven't already got one. So all you have to do is plug the micro USB into the port up the top here, then the other USB, plug it into a USB 2 or 3 port on the side of your computer, laptop or tablet. And when you plug that in, the light will sound and you'll get uh, a little vibration on the controller and then give that a little while and then what you'll find is there you go it's already synced up now yeah so that's that one working and then if for example this is on Lego World so you can play two player split screen so if I wanted to connect up this controller again you get your USB to micro USB cable Plug the micro USB cable into the top of the controller, like so. Find another USB port on your laptop, tablet or PC. And again, the light comes on, you get the little vibration. And then what you can do is, there you go, so it's synced up already. And now that's split screen. So on the right hand side here, we've got this controller working. And on the left hand side, we've got this controller working. It's nice and easy to do. Now I'm just going to show you how to do it if you're using this little wireless adapter for Windows. So let's get rid of these USB cables. Okay. Now, with this little adapter here, you have a little bind button here. So that's how you bind it to the controllers. So you plug it in to a USB 2 or a USB 3 port and again on Windows 10 the, the drivers are already installed in Windows 10 so when you plug it in it should work straight away. So what you do is you press and hold the bind button and the little light will start flashing here. You then turn on your controller and you press the bind button just like you do when you're syncing up to your Xbox One. That will start flashing and then once those two are solid it means that this controller is connected so now we're connected again on the screen and if I want to connect the second controller same principle again press and hold the bind button until it starts flashing press and hold your controller on and then hit the bind button it will start flashing and then it will sync up and when they both go to solid this one here will be synced up as well and if I join in the game there we go, split screen again. Right, my battery died on the laptop, but as you can see now, there's no cables attached to the Xbox One. And uh, that's the left hand side working fine, and the right hand side is working as well. One thing I forgot to mention is when you're finished playing with your laptop and you want to bring this controller back to your Xbox One, you will need to resync it because remember it's now synced up to the little Windows adapter down here. So nice and simple, either get your USB cable and plug it into your Xbox One and that will sync up straight away or press the little button at the side of the Xbox One, the sync button, or on the Xbox One S, it's just at the front on the right hand side and then again you press your bind button here and that will rebind it to your Xbox One. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up 
and uh, please subscribe for more videos. Take care, bye now.